What I like most about being part of the farm is its people. We only literally only have 26 years to decolonize our whole society. What makes a net zero farm for me is a farm within a circular system. What we're doing here is just small contribution. In this country, we have about 71% of land used for agriculture. It is a sector that is very challenging to decolonize. So we work with our colleagues to look at how we can harvest the renewable energy and then we, how we can reuse the waste so that we will be able to build a more sustainable energy system for the farm and support the decarbonisation of the farm as well. The National Pig Centre is a really fantastic facility. It's really captured my research interest. It allows us to work with commercial pigs, both indoors and outdoors, but to apply research under controlled conditions to see what we can do to improve all aspects of the sustainability of pig farming from what goes into the pig, but also what comes out the other end in terms of the waste. So I'm not myself from a farming background. Uh, I guess the closest I got to farming as a kid was we had border collies. I started my undergraduate in biology. Originally wanted to be a vet, didn't want to work with livestock, um, but fell in love with livestock during my degree. Started working with cattle and then moved over into pigs. Been involved with pigs ever since. Such characters, you know, when you think about children and teenagers and the different stages that a, a child goes through, you see it with your pigs as well. Playful, naughty. Pigs are one of the most intelligent animals. They learn very quickly in terms of what time of the day is the feeder going to be restocked. So we have a nice orderly queue of pigs lining up at the feeders to go and get their breakfast at 3am most mornings. Absolutely love working with the pigs. Brilliant animals to work with. I work across a whole range of projects at the farm, one of those projects being called DELIVER. DELIVER stands for Decarbonising Emissions from Livestock, Innovative Valorisation of Waste for Energy Resilience. And this project is really looking at how can we make the net zero farm, how can we utilise waste products, for example, from the pigs. So pigs are producing an awful lot of slurry, and slurry is a really useful source of energy in terms of if we think about producing biogases from it. It's a very valuable product, it's very rich in nutrients and traditionally used on land as a fertiliser. There's a lot of interest in farms, particularly farms when we're thinking of rural communities, to be able to generate their own energy on site to reduce some of the reliance on the grid. We look at how we could use the renewables here in the farm as well as storage to build a microgrid so that could be used to support the operation of the farms. Microgrid is a localized power grid. It has its own generation, it has its own demand, it has its own control energy management system to manage, and it has its own storage. But this microgrid also can be connected to the power grid because the local renewables not necessarily you know, meet all the demand. We also explore innovative ideas about how we can use the excessive renewables to support the decarbonisation rather than dump it, you know, curtail it. Essentially what we are looking to do is to have a farm as a central unit that's able to sustain itself without harming the environment that it sits within. For example, some of the solar PVs, they, they actually help some of the growth of the trees and, and, and the grass and the, the provide the shade for, for animals. Obviously, this is a lot of things we can investigate, how we design the system to improve, you know, that the animals and the infrastructure cohabit together in a uh, harmonized way. We also have our new insect bioconversion unit, which was designed by EnterCycle. So here we can take slurry from the pigs and we can rear insects on that slurry. So insect bioconversion is a process where you would use insects, for example black soldier flies, to convert a co-product or a waste product into something more useful. And in the case of black soldier fly, that would be a protein or an oil or a fat that depending on what you feed the insect can either go into the feed and food supply chains or something as exciting as biofuel. The protein of these larvae is used mainly to replace soya and fish meal. They can basically eat 
anything. So you can think of it, black soldier flies can munch through it. Black soldier flies are quite fun to work with. They're slightly slower than the house fly. They sort of kind of just buzz around, minding their own business. Black soldier flies also are a fly species that doesn't transmit any diseases. They're a tropical species, so we wouldn't have at the moment any problems with if some escape. I don't know any other uh, animal species that is as versatile as black soldier flies, really. I think for a future of farming, I would like to see, thinking about how we can complete the picture. If we're going to be trying to reduce emissions on farm, we need to think about the whole farming system. We can't be just looking at things in isolation. What I like most about being part of the farm is its people. I think we have an enormous amount of expertise represented by the academics that work here, but also through the, the farm staff. What we're doing here is just small contribution. We are Leeds University are keen to work with our farms, our partners, industrial partners, to support the net zero transition of this country.